it's Becky Jane here. Welcome back to my channel. So, what am I doing again? Today's video is actually something I've already painted. It is done. It has been painted and it's, it's, it's done. Boom. So you're currently seeing this from the... No spoilers. This I found when I was going through Walmart trying to find things that could help kickstart the jam. And this is one of the things that I found. It's just a simple little birdhouse that I found for like $5 in the uh, arts and crafts section and decided that this could make a uh, pretty interesting video. Why the heck am I petting it? Maybe spark some creativity. What am I doing with my life? Personally, I loved how it turned out. So, now that I've got your attention, if you're curious, let's crack and see what happens. I had to do a lot of light sanding to this one because it was pretty prickly before and it had a lot of chips in it that I didn't really do anything about. Probably should have filled them in, but I didn't think about it. Uh-oh, look out, it's sharp. Now we are ready to prime and prep. So, at this point I didn't know what I wanted to paint. I knew what colors I wanted to use but I didn't know what I was going to do with those colors. So like a fool with no plan, I jumped right into painting. I didn't even know where I was going with this. I just really wanted to use these colors. Something that was inspired and would kind of match my lava lamp. But it was completely throwing me off. I didn't know what it was about it, but it kept reminding me of some circus thing, and I just didn't like it, so I scrapped the idea and shoveled through the deepest, darkest parts of my mind, trudging along, just hoping to find a little nugget of inspiration. But that was a bust. I found nothing, so, you know, I went with the simplest thing I could think of. Sky, stars, and clouds. Yeah, that idea will work. Eventually, I started over with a fresh new base coat. I would say that these three colors are my most inspiring, but also the most uninspiring colors for me. Because these are my go-to colors. These are the colors I use if I don't branch out. See, these are my favorite colors, and if given the chance, I would only and always choose them. These colors are just a bad influence. Yep, this is looking much better. Hmm. Now the clouds, nice, big, whimsical, puffy clouds. I had actually struggled with the clouds. I tried painting them twice already, but was too embarrassed to show the process. And now I wish I hadn't deleted that process to spare my pride. Because I know I need to share and show my process. It took me three tries to get a feel for the cloud style I wanted. And seriously, I'm on cloud nine right now. These clouds are starting to look so mystifying. I wonder how many cloud puns I can get away with. Okay, I'm cutting you off. And why have clouds without a rainbow? Such bright and vibrant colors. It brings out just the happiness and joy in my wondrous life. Coming in with more fluffy clouds. Oh, mm, there's my head. Yeah. It, my head got in the way a lot. Ugh, yeah, sorry. I was still figuring out the camera work. 
at the time, I did consider that maybe I was using too many clouds, but I pushed on and I don't regret a thing. Plus, I had redone the clouds so many times at the top that I really didn't want to turn back now. Hmm. And finally, my favorite final touch. Golden twinkly twinkles with the golden shimmery pasca. Adding some gold accents around the rim here and this little peg here and wait, hold on. Simon, what are you doing? I still use that. Come on, boy. Get down. And lastly, the touch-ups. Always gonna have these, no matter how hard I try not to make them. <laughs> I just love how this turned out. It turned out really nice, and I absolutely loved it. I don't know what it is about these colors that I can always find inspiration in them. I mean, look how proud I look. Anyways, <laughs> so I'd say this one was a win. The clouds are nice, the rainbow is adorable, and the gold was a really nice touch that really made it pop in the end. So I'd like to know if you liked it or if you would have done this differently. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye.